Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of Wrench Only. So you may be thinking, why am I not on the Valus? Well, you may remember last time there were these doors that I couldn't get past. I needed to blow them open with some weapons. Well, that can be skipped. However, this does solidify the fact that it needs to be done in challenge mode because you need to take damage and you need invincibility. You need the invincibility from getting the 28 gold bolts. So what you need to do is, and this is going to be probably loads of cuts because I have already recorded a 30 minute version of this and I couldn't do it. So uh, yeah, let's try this again properly with, with feeling this time. So first off, you need to get burnt by this light. And the light obviously takes damage and that's why uh, you need the challenge mode playthrough. Uh, if you're going to be a purist and do it completely wrench only, you need to, it, it needs to be challenge mode. There is no two ways about it. Okay, I got up. Sweet. Uh, so there are going to be invisible walls trying to push you off. However, you need to stand on one. One that's right here. And it's very specific. Um, and it can very easily push you off. So keep holding right just as a precaution. Okay, I'm on. There we go. So from there, you jump here. And you are over. And this is part one. Yes, part one of many. Uh, there's, there's more to this than meets the eye. So... Okay, part two I find much harder, um, and I've been recording for three minutes so far, so... There are two ways to get up here. The speedrun does this, something like this, and you basically clip on top of this. However, I found an easier way and a more consistent way. It's quite a difficult trick to pull off, and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with it. You might have to mash some buttons, I don't really know. But I find that way is much more consistent. Now, this is the hard part. By far the hardest part. First you need to stand on this. Then, you need to jump to here. Oh my god, I got it first time. Okay, cool. Now, it's going to burn you, and you need to somehow make sure you get burnt, but also not stuck. And also not to the point where you fall off, and... Okay. Apparently, it can kill you. I was not expecting that. I had no idea that could kill you. Right, okay. I'm guessing it's three hits. Was it was it three at times would have burned me? I'm guessing so. So three hits and you die. I see. Right, well, ultimately, as you can tell, the idea is simple. You get burnt up there and ultimately, hopefully, you know, make it to the section past the bit where you fight enemies. That's the idea. And I'm going to pull it off. But I've been playing this for like three hours before this trick and then another 40 minutes and I am starting to get very angry. <laughs> so, uh, don't know how long this is going to take me. We'll see just how it takes its toll on me, I guess. After like 10 minutes, I finally got back here. Oh man, I don't know which is more annoying. The fact that this is incredibly hard to pinpoint. The fact that to actually get to the point where I can burn myself is so, so specific. Like, like pixel perfect jump kind of thing. Like, it has to be perfect. And then there's the final bit where you have to somehow magically predict exactly when it's going to go off and launch yourself up. Oh my god, oh my god, it's happening. No, no, launch me, launch me. Yes, yes, oh my god, it's finally happening. Oh my god. Oh, I've been trying this for like 50 minutes overall. Yes, that is satisfying. Okay, and with that, all you need to do is literally go up this bridge over here. You may recognize it. There's the arena where you fight enemies and cutscene loads. Beautiful. Mwah. There it is. Right. There. This is now wrench only, 100%. Back to Navalis. Well, it's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Welcome Wait to Navalis. Is that raritanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. Oh boy. So. Wrench only. Wrench only means only wrench. From now on, I technically use the wrench 
uh, in Belden. Uh, you technically use a weapon in Belden, but it's unavoidable. It is tutorial land. You have to. So, let's just ignore the fact that I used that. Technically, I don't need to get any of these, because... Because I don't. Like, I don't need to get money or currency or anything, but I like getting money. Money is satisfying. So, I may as well, you know, may as well build out that, that expense account and, uh, you know, never see anything past times two, because t I'm not going to get anything past times two. That is a fact. So... Like, yeah. But as I said earlier, uh, in Velden, I'm gonna go down every path, even if, like, technically there's nothing down there, um, for me to collect anymore. Um, originally there are no gold bolts on this planet. The down this route is actually a card set, but I cannot get the card set because you have to blow it up with, um, a bomb weapon, which I can't use, so... That is what it is, but I do like this path. It's really, it's quite beautiful down here. It's a lovely cave system. So... That's a reason to come here, right? Good reason. Good as any. Wow, they take a lot, don't they? Do you die instantly in water? Uh, you don't even... Oh, no, yeah, you do. I was gonna say you don't even go into water, but no, you do. You die instantly in water, good to know. That is a weakness of yours, which I appreciate. And this is where you would blow up the wall, I believe, somewhere around there. And uh, you would get some treasure. Actually, is it there? Yeah, it's got. Yeah, it's definitely there because there's a glimmer. You can see it. So yeah, you'd blow up the wall there, and uh, you'd get a card set and lots of bolts. Um, can't do that in this version, but hey ho, doesn't matter. Uh, and then that brings us uh, back out here. See, lovely. So Navalis, lovely place, lovely. Beautiful world. You may have we are in the midst of a small I want to test something. Just, just let me test my own curiosity. Because I saw a thing, and like, does it? Is it gonna let me? I I tested this before, and I can't remember how I did it, but I definitely found a way to cross here. I definitely found a way to cross here, and I kind of want to at least test it. And that seems to have a pretty good invisible wall. Okay, that doesn't. That invisible wall is gone uh, after you clear this place. Yeah, is there a way to turn that off? <laughs> that's that's going to be annoying very quickly. Game options, control options. Um, yeah, no, there is not. That is just going to tell me every time I don't use a weapon, which is constantly, basically. That's good to know. Um, and I understand why, but Insomniac, please, for the next game, make it so you don't have to use weapons everywhere, and make it so that, you know, you don't tell me every five seconds, please and thank you. I know you're not watching this, but if you could, that would be great, because I'm going to do the, ne the next match you release. I will do bench only. You know it. And I don't want to be reminded that I can use a weapon because my initial reaction, if that happens in the middle of a boss, and I've been on a boss for five hours, my initial reaction is, oh, it's telling me to do a thing. I have to do that, obviously. That will literally be my first thought. Because I will be brain dead. Like, Drek in the first game took two hours per attempt. Like, that's how long that boss battle was, so... Like we're, we're talking it's it's insane amounts of time and I will I will go insane because I nearly did but it was I I made myself ill playing that fight so yeah just just like a friendly warning insomniac this is I'm the I'm the kind of guy you hate because you have to work like glitches around my playstyle <laughs> like that's I'm the kind of guy who will discover everything for you. Okay, that's good. That seems to work. Okay, so hyper strike, throw, hyper strike. Okay, that works quite well actually. Yeah. Strategy. Coming up with things, trying to work out this playstyle. Cool. I do like that a hyper strike can hit around, and I don't have to be very specific with it. That's quite nice. Actually, I say quite nice. That's very nice. Oh dear, more of them. 
That must be the mayor's ship. Yeah, they're um Yeah, it was actually able I was able to get over here uh without um like crossing the bridge. Uh like after the world's over, but I think there's an invisible wall until that cutscene plays. Um, so I think it's technically impossible. Um, so that's good to know, eh? Ow, something is hitting me and it's killing me. I don't know what was hitting me. It might be actually one of them at the top of the buildings because I'm not going to be able to hit them. Uh, where is it? There's some Rautanium here if you're interested in it. If you're interested in that sort of thing, there it is. This game is so pretty. It really is. I'm going to have a lot of time to admire it. <laughs> I will have all the time. Okay, here we go. This is where it begins. The onslaught. Really hoping the, bo the explosion would hurt the enemy. But I'll take it. Okay, there's some more health over there, which I will gladly take when I need it. Cool, that's good. That is a good strategy, that works. Cool, I'm sort of getting used to this. It's just a, a learning curve with this gameplay, because the Hyper Strike and the Wrench plays very differently to the original games, which is what I've wrenched only before, so... It's just getting used to that. But once I'm used to it, I'll be, I'll be set, I think. Yeah, that is really weak, isn't it? My health is the most it can ever be, so... It's not going to increase any point, but that's alright, because it's not a huge deal as of right now. It's not what I need to get, really. Is that everyone? Or is there someone else? Oh, there's you. All right. Hello. Now I think that's everyone. I think it is, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were done for sure. We are happy to be of assistance. Why is Drek trying to kill you? It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this info bot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Blockwash! Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia, and boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Blarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester Super Illegal Water Displacement Apparatus. Um, I don't think I was supposed to have this. Stop him! He's got the schematics! Help! Someone! Call my agent! Call my publicist! Actually, don't call either of those people. Call someone who cares about me! I don't want to die! Sounds like Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta get to Iridia. Yeah, just a bit. Agreed. But we must first repair our ship. Yes, right. we must. Okay, let's see if we can find some help. And funnily enough, instead of Iridia, I'm not gonna go to Iridia. <laughs> there will be another planet to go to, which I will go to instead. <laughs> nice. Oh, this game is so pretty. Just everything. Everything is so beautiful. Oh, man. So, I wonder just how difficult, like, end game is going to be on, like, just in general. Because I know it's very difficult on hard challenge mode. I'm very glad I picked normal, to be honest. I think I would have died a hundred times more than I did on Veldin. Because uh, Veldin would have been brutal. Like... Every 15 damage is not what they do. They do a good 30 to 50, like minimum. It is pretty, pretty brutal. Which is mainly why I thought, you know what? I don't need, I don't need to do hard. That's I'm doing challenge mode, which is already harder than the standard difficulty. So, like this is harder than standard hard mode. So, 
No, I think that's fair, you know, going normal. I think that's nice to my own sanity. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm genuinely looking forward to this one. It's going to be a fun one. And uh, if you could share it out, show, show some people, you know, put it on Facebook, Twitter, all that lark. You know, tell people it's happening. That would be very appreciated. Because it's not every day someone does a wrench only run of a new game like this when it's clearly not designed around that, as evident by level one, where I was forced to use a weapon. Ignoring that, though, I'm not bitter about it or anything. I don't keep bringing it up anyway. <laughs> so, pretty much done with Novalis. This actually was quite easy, uh, especially in comparison to Veldin. <laughs> Just, Veldin really is a step up in difficulty in comparison. That said, I think the next few planets might be a, a lot harder. And by might, I mean will be. They, it, this is, Nivalis is very much your tutorial planet. Oh my god, times three. It's a miracle. That won't happen ever again. Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Uh, I don't think so. Huh. Well, guess the old think tank could use a good plumbing. <laughs> Anywho, I've been trying to get a distress call to the Galactic Rangers ever since Drex forces showed up. Uh, this entire region is overrun with Blargy and dropships. We need to get you out of here. Well, I can't go anywhere until I get this here info bot into the hands of Captain Quark. We were on our way to speak with him when our ship was shot down. Perhaps we could take a look. Oh, sure thing. I swabbed it from one of those black soldiers. Here you go. Oh, hello there. I'm Alonzo Drek, chairman of Drek Industries. Many of you may be wondering, why are 300 heavily armed warbots marching ominously towards a Class G dreadship? <laughs> the answer is simple, friends. Progress. Years ago, we were driven underground by pollution that may or may not but most definitely was caused by my father's company. Since then, we've shifted focus from robotics to planet building. Now that our project is nearing completion, we must do everything possible to stay on schedule. In this case, it means our friendly army of warbots must vanquish those who would seek to stop us. The good news? They don't know we're coming. So sit back, relax, and take comfort in the knowledge that Drek Industries is working for you. Drek Industries is not working for you. I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? Hmm. Well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. Cool. Geronimo! That was awesome. Want to do it again? Okay, let's see what we got here. And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know, they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But first, they'd have to tackle a brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Hey, wait a minute. I don't recall no brain-eating zombie T-Rex. Okay, fine. Killjoy. Well, you look about all fixed up here. Now promise me you'll get that infobot to Captain Quark. I promise. Thanks for your help. No problem. See you in the next reboot. I like to take that line with a grain of salt. I kind of hope there's not another reboot, and kind of hope that the next game is a completely new Ratchet game. But hey, we're done. Next time, I guess we'll be going to... Kowan Metropolis, Alero City. Where should we go? Skid's agent is still lost somewhere on Iridia. Nah. Wait, Skid's agent, not Skid McMarks, who's dying. Really? Let's see if we can help out Skid McMarks. I was gonna say, really? Like, 
Okay, whatever. Next time, come on. See you then. Bye-bye.